Yeah, hi, Warren. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good, thank you. A few weeks ago, the selection of Alan Wynne-Jones would have been a pie in the sky for many people, but what does it do for the team, the fact that he's sitting beside you on the eve of the first test? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's great in terms of, first of all, him making a really recovery to, to make himself available again. So, you know, he had a run out the other day and had, had some time on the pitch. And, um, yeah, so it's fantastic. And, you know, just with regard to selection, there was a lot of discussions and we did discuss whether uh, we started him on the bench again and, and brought him off. And then when the decision was made that we were going to go with Ali Price at, at nine, we felt we really needed his leadership and experience in terms of starting in the second row. And so that's, you know, it's pretty important for us. And it's a great boost to the squad and everyone to have him back. We're on some real talking points in the 15. Um, Stuart Hoggett, fullback. Uh, what are your thoughts there? He's had quite a few weeks, hasn't he? What's he going to give the team uh, on Saturday? Yeah, just, just his experience and stuff. He's, he's kept in the side in, in, a, in a couple of matches. He's been very unlucky in, in that this is his third tour and his first test start. So, um, it was a it was a toss of the coin between him and Liam Williams, um, and we could have gone either way there, but we just felt with this game, you know, giving Stuart uh, that opportunity. And so, um, look, he's like I said, he's had that experience of two previous tours, and um, so you know he he'll hopefully take his chance. And uh, Ali Price over Conor Murray was that down to the Stormers' performance, which swung it for him. We've been really, really, really impressed with him in terms of the way he's been. I thought his running game against the Storms was good. Um, you know, not some nice variation. He was getting the ball away quickly. Um, but in saying that, we also, it's not just about the starting 15 and looking at South Africa and particularly up front in their bench. We wanted to make sure that the balance was right and how important our bench was going to be and the experience of players coming off the bench. and. So you've got players like Connor Murray and, and Liam Williams and Owen Farrell who were disappointed not to be involved, but having that experience, they get a chance to to come on and and hopefully close the game out for us. Um, so, you know, we're really happy with the depth of our, our bench and how important they're going to be for us on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, some big names are on the bench, some big names not even on the bench. I mean, how generally are they taking the news? Obviously, I, I expect the guys to be disappointed and that was the, that was the chat. You know, they're not going to be they should be disappointed about missing out in selection. And then, but then we've spoken about how important it's not just the 23, it's a whole squad and, and it, you know, everyone's been putting up their hands and uh, we're really pleased with the form of, of, of a lot of players in the squad. And then it's how they respond to that and their, their responsibility and helping that test side prepare for Saturday. And I, I must say they've been absolutely brilliant in the last couple of training sessions and no one's taken a backward step and we, had a pretty tasty training session yesterday, a little bit of niggle and stuff and exactly what we wanted. And, and um, you know, take my hat off to the guys that were helping that test team. They really fronted up and, and, and trained exceptionally well. And we couldn't ask for, for more from a, um, from a coaching perspective. Just finally, Warren, the team was in the public domain uh, before today's announcement. How, how did that happen? And are you bothered much? Uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. So it wasn't, it wasn't 100% right, but... Obviously, someone's leaked that out, uh, whether that's on purpose or accidentally or someone's betrayed someone's trust, you know, whether that's a player or, or a staff member. Um, so what I'll do next week is just name the team to the, to the players and then, and then name the team to the press straight away. Thanks so much. Thank you. Warren, some of the combinations haven't been tried on the tour so far. There are obvious reasons behind some of them. Have some others, though, been deliberately kept under wraps? No, that was that wasn't our thinking at all. You know, we've just we looked at the team and picked what we thought were, um, you know, the best the best team f for the weekend. Uh, it was a robust debate. We we're an hour and a half in selection. It was the hardest selection meeting I've ever been in. Asked the coaches to come along with their their twenty threes, and we were all different. Um, and I can say that you know, no one we all had to compromise in in terms of that and and, and debate positions and selections, and uh, and that's the way it should be. And uh, I know a lot of people sort of out there in 
think it's the team that I select and it's never been the way, whether it's been with Wales or the, or the Lions, it's important that as coaches, we all have a an input into the makeup of the squad and it's the way that I've always always done things. So uh, I can tell you not, not, not one of the coaches got the 23 that they um, they had come along to the meeting with. Um, so we all, you know, we had, and I think that's credit to the players about how even as coaches, you know, we were all thinking about different permutations and, and combinations as well and 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 what the makeup of the the 23 looked like um so yeah it was it was some you know some long some long discussions and to, just to give you an idea um I think in the forward pack we had this four of the same eight and, and in the back line we only had three of the same same seven between the between the five of us so just goes to show how tough it was in terms of that selection and um um and but like I said, it, it's a great place to be in because there's so many players in the squad putting their hands up and making it difficult for us. Just on that, do you start from a position of picking your best 23 players to play South Africa, or do you start from the position of right? This is the game plan we want to play. Who are the best 23 to fulfil that game plan? Which way round do you come at it from? Yeah, a little bit of both. You know, you looking at the way we're going to play and knowing the threats that are coming to us, we'll expect. Uh, you know, that aerial battle and, and how strong that's going to be and the physicality they'll bring with their runners off nine. Um, we don't think they'll play a huge amount of rugby. They'll play a lot of territory. So we've got to be strong in those areas and 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 being prepared to stay in that, that arm wrestle and that and, and then wait for the opportunities that come from an attacking perspective and then being able to, to capitalise on that. Probably the first 30 minutes in the A game, we, we were a little bit short and we, we worked ourselves back into the game and we kept them scoreless in the second half. And we you know, we looked strong in that second half and a couple of tries we, we felt, um, you know, particularly the charge down with you know, things that we can fix and and probably the, the crossfield kick to to Colby is something that we need to address. And we, we have spoken about that too. So um, like we, we, we feel like we're in a, in a good place and... You know, some players that we that coaches would have had in their in their starting fifteen didn't make the twenty three because looking at the combinations on the bench and the experience and I just need to reiterate you know just how important it's not just the starting fifteen but the 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 guys coming off the bench are going to have a significant impact and they need to have an impact um, coming off the bench for us.